It looks something like you. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. I have a fun video for you guys today. I am bringing you shopping with me. We're at Nordstrom. It is the anniversary sale. This is my favorite sale of the year and I'm taking you to the beauty department. We're gonna pick out some goodies and then I'm heading home and I'm gonna do a full tutorial with my new products. So let's get shopping already. All right, I am back in my studio. I've got all of the goodies here from the Nordstrom sale. And y'all, I got a lot of stuff. Okay, so first off, I just got out of the shower, if you can't tell with my wet hair. And I'm going to, I have my moisturizer and I'm gonna prime. And I picked up the Giorgio Armani. This is the Fluid Sheer. It's this kit right right here. And um, it's, an, it's on sale for 85, $126 value. I'm pretty new to the Giorgio Armani. Um, products. Okay, so in this kit, you get the Fluid Sheer, you get the Maestro UV Skin Defense Primer, and then you also get the Beautifying Lip Enhancer. So all three of those come together. So I wanted this for the primer. So I'm going to apply that really quickly all over my face and get ready to do my makeup. Next up, we have the Bobbi Brown. This is the Deluxe Eye and Cheek Set. It's a palette. So this one is on sale for $98 and it's a $380 value, which is an awesome deal. So it comes in this really pretty gold, I think it's more rose gold actually, travel case. And then you pull it out and then it opens like this with the eyeshadows and then you've got the mirror. And then also when you flip it over, there's the bronzer blush highlighter it's beautiful so I'm actually gonna use this today for bronzer so I got a, I have a little bit of bronzer on right now but I'm gonna um, go ahead and bronze it up a little bit more because it's summertime and you know girlfriend likes to be tan it's okay and then I'm gonna use this a little bit to contour the sides of my nose Another thing that I picked up is the MAC. This is the basic brush kit um, or set, and it's travel size brushes, which are really awesome if you travel a lot like we do. And it comes in this little cute case, which I think is adorable. But you can see they're smaller, and you've got one, two, three, four, five brushes. And in the kit, you've got an angled cheek brush, a round powder brush, short paddle foundation brush, small tapered brush, and a basic eye shader. So I'm gonna use the angled brush here and apply some blush for a blush today. This is the thing that I was most excited for going into the sale. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury, it's the Glowing Pretty Skin palette. I have been dying to try this. There are so many people that are fans of Charlotte Tilbury and I've used um, her skincare, but not really her makeup. So I'm super excited about this. So it's um, in this palette, there's a powder, pretty blush, glow, bronze and contour, summer blush and glow. So let's dip into this. So 
you can see right here is the bronzer. That's a little bit too light for me, for my skin tone, but um, you know, it might work for somebody else. But I have these two beautiful blush colors right here. So I'm gonna dip into the top one, which is the pretty blush. Oh, that is pretty. <gasps> yeah, that's nice for a summer glow. And I'm gonna dab into the bottom. Add a little bit extra pink on there. I personally like to go a little bit heavy on the blush because it is the first thing that dies off on your on your face when you do your makeup, which I've talked about that before. So if you feel like I'm going heavy handed, like just give it a second because I guarantee you by the end of the video, it's not gonna be that blushy looking anymore. Another thing that I picked up that I'm super excited about because I saw this and I was like, I fully intended on just doing the Charlotte Tilbury palette for glow everything, but then I saw this from Laura Mercier and I was like, I have to have it. This is the Illuminator palette. It is stunning. So the packaging is adorable. I keep looking at my monitor guys, by the way, so I can make sure that everything's in frame. Like, are you being for real right now? This is Angels are singing. They're, it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the small tapered brush from my Mac set, which is I want to read the numbers right for you guys so that you know it's the five, the 541. Oh uh, yeah, yeah yeah, it's doing something for me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so next I'm gonna be doing my eyes, and I'm using the Bobbi Brown palette. It comes with a little brush, so I'll use that. But also I'm using the Mac brushes that came in the little handy dandy set because there's a flat shader. So I'm gonna go with the ivory and set my lids. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Wood Rose and the Heather shade and apply it to the crease. So I'm just applying a little bit of the Spotlight shade right here on the inner corner. Working my way inward, or inward towards the center of my eye with the flat shader brush. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Perfect Foil and apply that in the center of my lid. That was a little bit not dark enough, so I'm going to go on top of it with Velvet Crush. There we go. It's a little bit darker. And then on the outside corner, I'm going to go in with Velvet Plum. This color is beautiful. And apply it right there. Yeah, that's really pretty. Um, when you're using shimmery shades, I don't know about you, but if it's a powder like this, I feel like there's a lot of fallout, so I just keep my Damp Beauty Blender nearby to pick up any fallout. All right, so I just applied a little bit of mascara, and before I do lips, I wanna dry my hair because I don't like to do lips and then dry my hair and get my hair all in my lips, you know what I mean? So this is the time where I get to try out something I'm very excited about. I get to try out the Dyson hair dryer, and I am super stoked about this because I've seen a ton of people talk about it online, and um, they gave me a little bit of a um, tutorial in store I have a lot of hair, okay? So it's not super thick, but I have a lot of it. And I feel like that's the first thing that somebody asks me when they <laughs> when they meet me and see my hair. They're like, how long does it take you to dry all of that hair? And I'm like, well, I usually let it air dry for the most part, but there's a lot of days where like today I'm getting ready to head to, I have an event and then I have two meetings. And so I don't have time to let it air dry and look anywhere near polished in time for my event. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry it. So let's try this bad boy out. Okay, so it's, it claims to be fast drying, engineered for balance, smooth and controlled styling. And um, the thing that I'm most excited about it is that the uh, fan part is down here in the uh, handle. I don't know about you, but when I dry my hair, I almost always get my hair caught in the fan and it is so annoying because not only does it eat my hair, it damages it. It gets it caught in this like nasty little gnarly knot and I'm sitting there trying to get it apart and I'm just at that point, I'm basically silent screaming to myself and at myself that I let it happen yet again. So get it, I'm beyond stoked about this right now. Okay, just so that you know, this is what it looks like when you open it. It's the brush and then, or not the brush, the um, dryer and then three attachments. Turning it on. And then the girl said to turn it down to the two mark. So it's too hot, too too cool. Wow, that is insane. I think it's like blowing the background. All right, so how long do you think I was drying my hair, babe? Like five minutes? Maybe, maybe five minutes. And my hair is completely dry. 
Um, the thing that I noticed most about that hairdryer is how quiet it was. Like, um, I would feel comfortable being right next to McKinley's room while she's sleeping using it because it sounds like white noise, but a very mild white noise. Um, overall, possibly, no, probably, no, it is the best hairdryer I've ever used. And now I'm going to be totally spoiled because how in the world do I go back to using a hairdryer with a fan that's going to eat my freaking hair? I can't. I can't. Okay, so next I'm going to try the dry bar. This is the chest press. I just put that in my mouth in case you didn't catch that because I'm so smooth and so cool. This is a straightening iron and I am a huge fan of dry bar. I've showed you guys a lot on my Insta stories. I use their... Um, curling wand pretty much exclusively lately. I really love the way that it makes my hair look and feel and um, so I'm excited to give this one a try. So it's the ceramic type and I talked about this on my Insta stories when I was in store. It's good for doing the curls because it's going to heat all the way through. So I'm going to plug this in. In the meantime, while this is heating up, which by the way, it heats to 450, which is awesome. I personally don't like a curling wand or a straightening iron unless it gets really hot because I feel like that's how my hair works. I can't use a wand that doesn't get really hot. So for lips, I picked up, this is the MAC, oh, the sticker's right over the top of it. It's the MAC, Little MAC Nude. It's one matte lip, lipstick and then also um, one lip gloss. And the lipstick is Love You Back. And it's this really pretty nude shade. It reminds me of uh, MAC Yash a lot, which I use Yash all the time. And then this, it's a lip gloss. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna use, for a liner, I'm gonna use MAC's Boldly Bare. This is not on sale, but I have to use a lip liner because that's just what type of lips I have. By the way, how cute is this little lipstick? It's so cute. It's great for throwing your, it in your handbag if you only have a clutch. You're going on a date or something. It's got a hint of like a purple undertone, which is so pretty. Okay, and um, I'm gonna wait to apply the lip gloss until my hair straightened, just in case I get any hair in my uh, mouth. So let's go ahead and use the straightener, and I'm only gonna use it on the very ends of my hair. Very smooth. I feel like it made my hair look shiny too, which that's good, and it's light. I'm all about lightweight hair tools. Yep, digging this, digging it, digging it. All right, applying the lip gloss, and it's this shade right here, lip, lip gloss, I should say, and it is in clear water. Oh, that's pretty. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I feel like the hair dryer, like, it made my hair really shiny, and I'm looking at the monitor, which is a total YouTuber no-no, but I feel like I have volume, which is awesome. Love the straightener, I feel like it really, Again, my hair looks shiny, I feel like. Um, I did an gl overall glowy look with a little bit of a, a, a very daytime smoky eye. So it's not like a heavy smoky eye, but it's, it's smoky enough that you can wear it to the office or darken it up a little bit and it'd be perfect for night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun going into Nordstrom and shopping the beauty sale. Um, there is just so much goodness at that sale that I would go back today and do it all over again and get all new stuff. Like there is just so much goodness. So leave a comment below, let me know what video you want to see from me next. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and you want to see more. And don't forget to subscribe to my video and check me out on my blog, AngelaLanter.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Au revoir.